squaring off. Smith still trying to look up and look. Oh, all over him, and here we go. Got us off the bench. Johnson stole him. Haley. From not liking being hit after a skater has carried the puck to the net and maybe gotten a shot off, to being crowded in the crease by an opponent, just being fed up with a player on the other team, goalies have plenty of reasons to snap and go after a player on the other team. Usually, a cool head is best when trying to make saves, but there have been plenty of times where NHL goalies have a hot one. Here are the craziest goalie versus player moments in the NHL. To get things started, Pittsburgh Penguins goaltender Brent Johnson decides to square off with the New York Islanders Michael Haley. There was a bit of history involved here as Johnson had recently battled it out with the Islanders goaltender Rick DiPietro. Got us off the bench! Johnson stole him! Haley. The Montreal Canadiens' Carey Price does not take kindly to being slid into by the New Jersey Devils' Kyle Palmieri who is driving the bet eye. So Price does not even let Palmieri get up before he starts swinging on him. Price even gets some support from teammates Max Pacioretty who drags Palmieri a bit. Apparently, Price was one of those hot-headed goaltenders. Here, he gives the New York Rangers Chris Kreider a shot to the face after Price had played the puck from behind the net. Clearly, Calgary Flames goaltender Jamie McLennan has had enough of the Detroit Red Wings' Johan Franzen. McLennan has already been called for a slashing penalty against Franzen, but that's not enough for him. Oh my god! Oh, what is he doing? Oh my god! After the Flames get possession of the puck to stop the play, McLennan isn't quite finished with Franzen and gives him a vicious two-handed slash to the midsection. There are two things about this scrum involving a goalie. The first thing is that there's no surprise when New York Islanders Billy Smith is involved in the scuffle. This all-of-time NHL great was legendary for having absolutely no tolerance for opponents, in his goal crease or anywhere near him, and for using his stick and fists to make him pay. And of course, that's the case here in this brawl with the Washington Caps. I think it was Howard that he nailed. And that, that brought in Steven. But let's check out the amount of Hockey Hall of Famers in this single clip. Of course, there's Smith. But there's also Smith's teammate, Dennis Potvin, wrestling with somebody else. And then Scott Stevens of the Washington Capitals coming into tussle with Smith. And at the end, Larry Murphy of the Capitals locked up with an Islander. Goalie versus skaters featuring four Hockey Hall of Famers. Perfect. Now, not surprisingly, here's Smith again. Again, he's not very happy, but this time it's with the Buffalo Sabres' Lindy Ruff. Smith sneakily catches Ruff in the eye with his goalie stick. Enraged, Ruff gets up and jumps on Smith and starts swinging those fists. That brings another couple of wild cards into the play. Next up, we got the New York Rangers' Sean Avery and Boston goaltender Tim Thomas. During a play stoppage, Avery intentionally bumps Thomas in the back of the head and that starts a scuffle involving most of the players on the ice. If that was not enough of Thomas, this time he slashes Alex Burrows of the Canucks. So Burrows responds with a cross track and the fight is on. And it's a hat trick of Tim Thomas who also started a fight with the Washington Capitals' Jason Chimera after Thomas was not happy with Chimera running into him after breaking in off the right wing. Here, the St. Louis Blues' Robbie Fabry really can't avoid running into Chicago Blackhawks' goaltender, Corey Crawford. But Crawford still goes after Fabry, and another fight ensues. Henrik Lundqvist of the New York Rangers starts swinging on Pacioretty after the Montreal Canadiens slides into Lundqvist following a save. Another famously cantankerous goaltender was Ron Hextall. During a playoff series between the Hextall's Philadelphia Flyers and the 1980s Montreal Canadiens, Hextall charges out of his net to tackle Chris Chelios and that starts at Donnybrook. Chelios had put a hit on the Flyers' Brian Prop earlier in the series, and that they did not appreciate. Here, Hextall gets into a spontaneous fight with one of the linesmen who's trying to get this Washington Capitals player away from the scuffle. 
Dan Cloutier of the Vancouver Canucks goal is fed up with Boston Bruins' Travis Green, and the two start scrapping. The same goes with Islanders' pucks dropper, Robin Leonard and Patrick Hornquist of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Here, the linesman gets in between Hornquist teammate Sidney Crosby and Detroit Red Wings netminder Jimmy Howard. He is not showing it here, but the Ottawa Senators goaltender, Ray Emery, nicknamed Sugar Ray, was a quite capable fighter. A boxing fanatic, one time even sporting his goalie mask with great boxers painted on it. Maybe he fought himself out against Buffalo Sabres goaltender Martin Bryron, because Emery doesn't seem to be doing that well against Andrew Peters. The Carolina Hurricanes goalie Peter Mrazek is the instigator here as he takes his swat at the San Jose Sharks' Joe Thornton, who does not take kindly to that and decks Mrazek with a punch to the throat. After the Flyers' Derek Grant is denied by Price, Grant knocks them both into the net and Price responds with a couple of shots of his own before they both escape the cage. Milan Lucic of the Boston Bruins simply runs over Buffalo Sabres goaltender Ryan Miller. And of course, Miller's teammates are not happy with that. And seek immediate conference with Lucic. The Tampa Bay Lightning's Mike Smith is understandably upset about being tripped by the Ottawa Senators' Chris Neal. Smith getting help here is jumping in with all so of course, they pair up and take a joint trip straight to Knuckle City. The Boston's Bruins goaltender Tuka Rask starts a scrap with Lightning's Corey Conacher after Conacher runs into Rask after driving the net. Here's Mike Smith yet again, this time as a member of the Edmonton Oilers. And here he goes to Pittsburgh's Penguins Evgeny Malkin after Malkin piles into Smith after carrying the puck to the net. What is it about the goaltender's name Smith? The name that makes him this feisty? And this, the third time with the Calgary Flames here, Mike Smith is fed up with Lucic. Squaring off, Smith still trying to look up and... Who is with the Edmonton Oilers here? And the pair go into battle in the front of the net. Here, it's really nothing that Sidney Crosby did to Lundqvist, but the Rangers goalie seems to think that Crosby took a dive in to draw a penalty on the Rangers, and he skates over to tell Sid the Kid just that. Crosby then responds with a cross check, and the two would become combatants, and were then quickly separated. And then Moore comes back, he's not happy, Kunitz lets him have it. For some reason, the San Jose Sharks' Evander Kane chest bumps Calgary Flames goaltender David Riddick to the ice. And of course, Riddick's teammates do not take too kindly to that and drive Kane back against the boards. Riddick then tries to grab San Jose's Kevin LeBanc and gets him out of the scrum. Mr. Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk, gets tied up with Los Angeles Kings goaltender Jonathan Quick in the crease, and then, of course, general madness ensues. And there you have it. The craziest goaltender versus player moments in the NHL. Which moment do you think was the craziest? Did we miss any? Please let us know in the comment section below the one that you thought was the craziest. And click the video on the screen for the scariest near-death moments in the NHL. And if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.